To start, you'll need a paper and a utensil. Start with making the eyes with two dots and lines. You can add eyelashes if you would like. Make the top of your head and draw down with a J to make the hook type body for our standing fish. You can kind of make the end of the tail a little bit funky if you would like and squiggly. And then you can add that another big J to finish the whole body of your fish. From there, add two triangles together, a big triangle with a little triangle inside it to make it look like its arms are on its hips. Then we're going to work on the mouth. Make a big smile with some cheeks on the side. You can even add lips if you want to make this a girl or a girl fish with some big lips. Add some rings on the side or some curves on the side to make her look even better. Some details could be adding fins on top just like I did here with some lines up and then making a, connecting them with a curve. Our other fish that we could do could be a sideways fish. You could do either one. Start with a oval like a potato and make an eye off to the side just like I did. Your fin can look kind of like this where you start with one curve and then two curves on the other side. Your back fin would be something like this starting with two lines out and then making a sort of mustache type look. Anything you do is going to look good. Add your mouth to your fish and make your eye a little bit more detailed by adding a pupil and a lid. You can also add a top fin to make your fish look more complete. Add some little fish fins also to make your fish look even fishier. You can add some eyelashes too and some gills. Add some lines to your fins to make them look like they move and just give them a little bit more detail. You, should, you could have one of these two fish, but choose one and use the colors red, blue, yellow, and green to color in your fish because these are the colors that are in the book. Take some time to color in your fish whatever color you would like. I chose to color my fish blue and then I chose to create the fins in different colors as you'll see in a moment. The top fin I chose to make yellow the bottom fin is green and the back fin is red, but you can choose anything you would like, any of those colors that you would like. Make it as detailed as you want. You can even make it polka dotted or anything, be creative. And we're finishing up the coloring here. After the coloring is done, the next step is to cut out your fish. So take a, grab your scissors and begin cutting out the fish because we'll be putting it on a different background. I didn't cut out the little fins at the top of the fish. I cut around them as you'll see right now, but you can cut them out if you want. It's up to you, whatever you would like for your little fish. Then you have it all cut out. So our next step is to do the background. You'll need a new, another piece of paper and we're going to be making a striped background. Using the colors we talked about earlier, blue, yellow, green, and red, you're going to be creating stripes. I started with one color and made as many stripes as I wanted on the page and then I did the next color and did stripes with that color as well. Then you grab your third color and make stripes with that color, filling in the white spots as you go. And then the last color. After you finish your stripes with that last color, you're going to take a look and see, are there any white spots? And then you can start over with your colors and fill in some of those white spots. I wanted my background to be really filled in and not have a lot of white, so I made sure to do that. Once your background is done, grab your fish and glue it on.